Hi, in this video, we'll discuss the use of the report source object which is available in both Astera Enterprise and Astera Report Miner. As we know, Report Miner helps extract data from an unstructured file into a structured file format using an extraction logic we define. The report model created by it is saved as a RMD file which can further be imported into and used in data flows with the help of the report source object. Therefore, the report source object found in the sources section of the toolbox is used to import a pre-configured report model to a data flow where it can be used as a source in an ETL pipeline. Now let's look at an example to better understand the functionality of the report source object. In this example, we've created a report model using a sterile report miner, extracting details of a fictitious customer's monthly utility bills from a PDF file. We can open it in a data flow by going to the data export settings and selecting the create data flow and open option. However, in this video, we'll use another method of opening this report model in a data flow, which is by using the report source object directly from the data flow toolbox. We'll do that by first creating a new data flow. In the sources section of the toolbox, you'll find the report source object listed amongst other options. Let's drag and drop this object onto the data flow designer. You can see that the source object is empty right now. This is because we haven't configured it yet. To configure it, right click on its header and select properties from the context menu. This will open the configuration window. First, we'll provide a file path to the report location. This is the path where the unstructured file is located for which the report model is created. In our case, it is the PDF file of the fictitious customer's utility bill. Next, we need to specify the file path for the associated report model. We'll import our pre-configured report model by providing the path to its RMD file. Now we'll click OK. This will make the fields added in the extraction model appear inside the report source object with the subnode, which in our case is the customer's data. As we expand this node, we can see the other subnodes in the hierarchy. To ensure that our data is correctly imported, we can preview it by right-clicking on the report source object's header and selecting Preview Output from the context menu. This will open a data preview window where you can see the data extracted to the report model. Now that we've brought the structured data into the data flow, we can use it as a part of our pipeline, apply transformations to it, and write it to a destination of our choice. Thus, the report source object imports your report model to the data flow once you've provided the file path for the report model and the report location. However, if you prefer a faster way to add a pre-configured report source object directly from your project, you can simply open your project in Project Explorer, locate your report model, and drag and drop it onto the data flow designer. This will instantly create a pre-configured report source object that you can use in your ETL pipeline. So this is how you can use the report source object in Astera Report Miner and Astera Enterprise. For more information, please visit our documentation site. Thank you for watching this video.